Hello, welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. Uh, today I'm just up in my kitchen here and I'm checking in on my um, Craft Key Method herbs that I uh, started. So my first video that I made on how to start uh, growing using the Craft Key Method, um, I had used these herbs as my first attempt at that. And I've had these upstairs in my um, on my shelf here, just sitting in the sun, catching uh, eastern and southeastern sunlight. I've taken a lot of harvests off of them to uh, while I'm cooking. I like to keep them handy and I just come along and, and clip them. Um, I was having a look at them today and the basil's really not looking very good. It's not coming back like it was and I had a peek here at the at the roots and they are nasty. So um, I've been doing some research on how to maybe remedy uh, root rot in your hydroponic um, plants. The All three of them don't look very healthy. You can see these ones are turning brown. They should be nice and white if they're healthy. And the thyme looks looks healthy and it's coming back here. I hacked it down just the other day, um, but it also has pretty brown looking roots. So um, the water in here looks good. It doesn't look algae or, uh, you know, dirty, but I think I just need to refresh and give them a treatment. I'm going to try a method that I've um, come across on, on the internet. Um, we're gonna clean the containers, give them fresh water, and give them a treatment with some hydrogen peroxide. And so I'll, I'll take you through the steps that we're gonna try on this, and then we will uh, put them back in the window and see if, uh, if they come around or if we just have to throw them in the compost pile. So I'm hoping I can save them, and I hope that you can learn from this um, for your own uh, purposes if you have root rot in any of your plants. So I'm going to take you to the sink. We're going to um, start the process here to see if we can uh, save these little plants. So we're going to start with the the nasty one here. The thing that uh, I'm going to try here is just to give them a bit of a rinse. See if we can get rid of any of the slime off of here. So they seem to have one main strand of roots coming through here. I'm just going to trim them off. Leave a little bit here. But we're going to uh, going to dip it into some peroxide and just see if we can kind of clean it off. Like I said, these ones don't aren't very long and they aren't really. Uh, too slimy or brown right now. I'm just gonna give them a good rinse and then we'll give them a treatment in the peroxide. Okay, so now I'm just going to give each of these roots a treatment in um, some hydrogen peroxide. So this is a 3% dilution. And I've just filled up a little bowl here with some of the peroxide. So I'm just going to dip them into it so they swish it around a little bit and then just set it down here on this plate while we clean the containers okay so that's all we're going to do for that so now i'm going to clean each of these containers and I'll just show you in here there is a little bit of algae in this one I think probably some light does get through the lid on this so, so I'm just going to give them each a good cleaning with some a little bit of bleach and water I'm just going to use some of this uh, green ultra active oxygen bleach 
You could use real bleach as well, but this is the kind that I use in my home. So I'm just gonna put a cap full in each half a cap full. Okay, so I have my containers all washed and ready here. I'm now going to mix up a solution for our roots to go back into and hopefully um, this will help them become healthy again. So we will see how that goes. Um, I don't want to use a full strength um, solution of the hydroponic nutrients. I'm going to dilute it with water. So um, that's going to go in here. Plus I'm going to be putting some hydrogen peroxide into each of them as well. And that will be one tablespoon per one cup of liquid. So I've already got this kind of pre-measured as being one cup and you don't want to fill it too full because the roots from the net cup, you kind of want them to just be half in the water and half out so that there's some air getting to these roots and hopefully they will become healthy again. I can see that there is a bit of white root in there so maybe Maybe there's some hope for this that some healthy roots will come. So I'm going to just kind of eyeball it so that I'm not drowning the roots here. So I'm going to put in one tablespoon of the peroxide. Just give it a good stir. And I can see that these are touching the water, so I think they've got just enough in there right now. So that's the basil. That's the one that's, uh, not sure if that one's gonna make her or not. And this one will be, I think this one was the oregano, so I'm gonna try and stick with the same containers that they were in. Let's try to eyeball it here. So this one has fairly long, long roots. I didn't um, cut any off. I'm just gonna keep them. Just gave them a good rinse. So we'll put in our peroxide here. I'm gonna stick with just one tablespoon for each of these. It's a little hard to eyeball where the water is when you've got these containers. Try to dry off the roots a bit so I can tell if they're reaching the water when I stick them in here. I think they're just barely touching. I'm just gonna top it up with a little more. So I think that's good. Okay, so we're just gonna put these back into the window. Okay, so this is where these guys uh, live here and they get some morning sun and some afternoon sun. It's been pretty cloudy and dreary here for about four or five days, but I'm hoping that uh, we're gonna get some sunshine. So I will um, keep you posted on how these are doing. I'll check on the roots in about three or four days and see if they um, are improving and see if the plants are thriving and I'll keep you updated as to whether this uh, treatment was successful or whether um, it was a fail. But if you are um, using the crack key method, I would just uh, recommend checking your roots occasionally if they're starting to look brown, if the plants are looking 
unhappy to uh, maybe give your water a refresh and uh, use that peroxide for um, treating the roots as well. Okay, so we will, I'll check back with you in a few days. Okay, so here we are 10 days later and we're checking in to see how these uh, reacted to the treatment that I gave them with the peroxide. And as you can see, my basil and oregano, if you can see that, did not do too well. They um, probably just a little bit too far gone to save them. So um, that's what happens, I guess. The um, thyme, if you can see here, is still pretty healthy and growing. So that's good. I can see a lot of new growth coming on it. Uh, the roots look fairly healthy. They're not slimy or anything. So I think uh, this thing will continue to thrive and grow. Um, something that I didn't um, have on camera, but what I did was I gave this a treatment as well. So this is why I'm thinking that, you know, this is a, um, this can be a successful treatment to your um, plants. This is my celery that I had grown from a, a stock that I bought in the store. I just cut it off, rooted it, and put it into the Kratky. It was starting to get brown roots, I noticed, and there was some discoloration and wilting in the leaves. It didn't look happy, so I also gave it a treatment. I um, cleaned out the solution, gave it fresh solution, and put the roots into some peroxide. And as you can see here now, we have some pretty healthy roots coming, kind of overtaking the brown ones. So this thing is really taken off now. I even have some little stalks of celery coming. I hope you can see that. I've been chopping off some of this nice greenery and putting it into my salads. It adds a nice little flavor. So, so this method does um, work. I think if you are growing things with this method that you just uh, keep an eye on your roots. Um, I know my lettuces, I never change the water in those. They seem to be able to thrive. I just top up the water all the time, but sometimes a little freshening up um, will help them last a little bit longer. I had already taken cuttings from my basil plant and have them rooting in some water. So I have another another new basil plant here to set up into this container and I'll, pretty soon I'll have some more basil going. So that'll be good. So if you found this video helpful um, or if you have any comments, questions, please uh, leave them below. I hope you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and just uh, tag along with me on my journey of indoor gardening, outdoor gardening and uh, whatever else is going on here in the Saskatchewan prairies. So thank you for watching.